How's it going, everybody? And welcome to Justin the Buddies Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan. And I'm your host, Daniel. And today we're doing a podcast. Woo! If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the like button. We are doing a giveaway. If we hit 3.5K likes on this video, we are going to be giving away one of these hot toys to one of you guys. It's one of the most coolest collectibles you can get. They have DC, they have Marvel. So whatever you want, comment what you would like, and also comment what you like about the show, and comment what you want us to talk about next week. As you can see throughout the video, we're going to be putting your guys' suggestions that you guys wanted us to talk about last week, and we're going to talk about it this week. You see that? See how fast that was? That was That good. was very efficient. That was smooth. It was. Probably the smoothest intro. Comment yeah. if you thought it was the smoothest one I've done. Let them know. All right, let's get into it. So first, we're going to start out about talking about the deadliest candies. Ooh, the deadliest candy. We've all eaten them. We've all enjoyed them. But yep. did you know this, these candies, mm -hmm. actually were killing us? So starting out, we're going to be talking about the toxic waste candy. Ooh, what? So we all know the toxic waste candy, right? We Growing up, I remember it was like on the ice cream trucks. It was in all the stores, 7-Eleven, right? Yeah, it was like those in like warheads. Right. So it was in those plastic tubes, right? And it looked like a canister. Yeah. Like a, what do you call those things? Like ooze and TMT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TMT. TMNT. T TMNT. Yeah, so they actually, you know, sold those for a very long time. Yeah. They were really sour. Yeah. And the whole reason behind it, like the toxic waste, right? It was... It was to make your mouth go, like, really sour, and he was... What was weird about those? Those were painfully sour. Yeah. Hence, it was, like, nuclear waste. Like, nuclear toxic waste. Yeah. How the heck were those deadly, though? So, they found out that there were double the amount of legal lead in the candies. First of all, I don't understand why there even is lead in the candy. Yeah. How does lead even get near that? So, it's in it. People were getting sick. We were eating lead? Yeah. And in 2011, they said, we got to get these candies off the market. This is deadly. We did some testing. They found out all the lead that was in it. Yeah. And they pulled it. But if they didn't pull it, who knows how many kids would have died from it. Right. What the heck are they doing? What's scary about lead poisoning is it affects you over a span of like 50 years. Yeah. It may not present itself right away. It could come up later. Right. So we don't know. We don't know the long-term effects. Dude, we might be get messed up. All right, we're not going to talk about that because I'm not a doctor. <laughs> That's not medical advice. I don't know. Okay, so the next candy, I don't want to butcher it, and I don't know how to speak Spanish, but I think it's like Lucas Muecas. Okay. And it, we've all seen this candy. Okay, so it's like in a, like a little tube, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like you could dip it, and then you suck on it. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a baby, bo baby bottle pop. Right, but it was spicy. Oh, okay. So it wasn't... Anything harmful. It was it was really good candy. Yeah. And I actually enjoyed it. I just didn't know what it was called. Uh-huh. But what happened was one kid, I don't know where he was at, and this kid was like a total rebel. Okay. And he basically like told his whole class, like, Did you guys know that you're eating the candy wrong? And everyone's like, What? What are you talking about? So the kid grounded it up, right? Uh huh. Like a powder. Yeah. And he tried to snort it in his Shut nose. Uh and this candy also had high levels of lead, and it burned his nasal cavity, and ultimately, I think it almost killed him. I think it, I think it did kill him. I'm Are not sure. Are you kidding me? But it's amazing how that form of the candy crushed up is so dangerous. So I'm sure by sucking on it, it's still very dangerous, too. Well, I think the fact that he put it in his nose, too. Yes. That was a huge part of it. Dude, that's crazy. I know. I don't know what he was thinking. He was trying to be like, look at me, guys. I'm tough. I can do this. Do you know, I think that's why Smarties got banned in some schools, too. Yes, because they were, they were grinding it up. Yeah, and because, trying to put it up their nose. Right. Crazy. People, come on. Be, be smarter. Think yeah, about it. Come on, man. Think about it, and then really, you know, once you think about it, think about it again. Yeah. So for the next one, we're talking about Kinder Eggs. Okay, so we all know Kinder Wait, Eggs. Wait, hang right? on, hang on. Kinder Eggs. What's wrong? I don't understand how that could even be in the mix. Because they sell it at the store still. Well, it was like those like chocolate eggs, right? Yeah, they sell them still. Yeah, and they had like the little toy inside. Yes. I bought a lot of the Marvel ones. Right. <laughs> so when you eat that, kids were eating that and choking on it. Choking on the toy. Because they didn't know that there was a toy in oh, it. Oh, so they would put the whole egg in their they mouth. They would put the whole egg in their mouth and choke on the, on the toy. I do, I, okay, I understand how that, how that could happen just yeah. because I remember a friend of mine when I was in middle school got me a Kinder Egg, mm -hmm. but at the time they weren't legal in the U.S. Right. It was only in Canada, I think. 
Yeah, and like other, there's other countries. So when they brought it to me, they're like, "Hey, there's a there's a surprise in the middle." Uh -huh. But on the packaging, the original packaging of the Kinder Egg had no, they didn't disclose that there was a surprise in the middle. Yeah. So kids were choking on it, and then in the U.S., you're actually not supposed to have anything inedible in candies. That's so interesting. I mean, it makes sense why, right? It makes sense. Yeah. When a kid buys a candy, right? right. They're not going to be thinking, oh my gosh, I bet there's a surprise toy in the middle. Yeah. So I think back, it was, I, think, I think it was 2015. Okay. So this man went to Belgium to look at Kinder Eggs. Okay. Okay. Now he was bringing them back and at the airport, they stopped him because he wasn't allowed to bring them in. That guy was probably like, what? Yeah. What did I do wrong? And they told him, the only way you're going to keep it is if you eat it right now. So did he eat so it? So he ate it. Right? But in 2015, right, 30,000 eggs were stopped at the airport. Throughout the year? Yeah, throughout the year. Oh, my gosh. You know how it is an interesting candy. Like, yeah. the concept's really cool. Right. It reminds me of, like, when you get, like, Cracker Jack, you know, and you yeah. open it up and there's, like, a little toy in it. But it is a pretty big hazard. Kids you, are definitely going to choke on it. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, like I was saying earlier, who would have thought that there would be a, something in the middle? Yeah. Okay, so moving on to Haribo sugar-free gummies. Okay, so we all know Haribo gummies. It's probably the most, like, well-known gummy company out there. Yes. I mean, I haven't heard of any other company that's bigger than them. Yeah, so when you think of the sugar-free ones, right, you're like, oh, this is the healthier option. So I'm going to go with these. Yes. But they are actually the most deadly option. Get out of here. How, wait, how are you going to sit there and say, because that's, I've seen those on the shelves. Yeah. So, they don't, for, so they don't have sugar, right? They actually have this thing called lycasin, which is sweet like sugar. Okay. But it's not sugar. Okay. So when people would eat this, the lycasin, you actually, your body actually cannot digest all of it. So it actually starts fermenting in your stomach. What? Yeah. Wait, and what? So, so technically, the sugar-free ones are way more unhealthy than the sugar ones. Dude, maybe that's why I get bloated after I eat gummy bears. Right. So people on, like, Amazon were going, like, straight to the reviews. And everybody was like, these are, like, death in a bag. It's, like, fermenting in everyone's stomachs. It's really bad. So I wonder if, like, when you ingest it. Yeah. If it, like, starts to make your stomach expand, like, like it, bloating. Yeah. It makes sense because it's fermenting. Dude, that's freaky. How sad. I know. Dude, we should. That's not okay. We will write a letter and file a complaint. <laughs> okay, so moving on. As you guys know, Doctor Strange came out two weeks ago. Yes, sir. And you know us, right? We got to come up with some theories. We got to talk about mm -hmm. this. So on TikTok last week, I talked about how there's a theory that Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, confirms that possibly Tony Stark will come back. Yeah. Wait, sorry. It came out last week. Last week. Okay. So what's going on is we know this. Okay. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen Doctor Strange. We know that Doctor Strange, whenever he dreams, right? We mm -hmm. see in the beginning America Chavez and him are trying to get the Book of Ashanti, right? Yeah. Defender Strange. Right. And then all of a sudden Defender Strange dies and the regular 616 Doctor Strange wakes up and he's like, whoa. Like, I just had a bad dream. Yeah. But come to find out, America Chavez tells him, like, you know, like, your dream of you seeing Defender Strange was actually real in another universe. Right. So he's like, whoa, like, oh, my gosh, I didn't realize that. And it just showed us that whenever a character in the MCU dreams and they see themselves, it's actually a variance of them in another universe. Yeah. So this is where it gets really interesting. And we know Marvel, right? They go and they do these retreats where all the creators come together. And they work on the next 10 years of Marvel movies. Yeah, they so, just did that recently. Right. So every movie's planned out and everything happens for a reason. Right. So when we look back to Infinity War, we have the crazy line by Tony Stark. We learn that Tony Stark tells Pepper, right? I've been having crazy dreams. It, it feels so real. We have a kid named Morgan and he and we have him. Yeah. So what this confirms, right, is that Tony Stark had a dream mm -hmm. of himself it basically in another universe, confirming that there is a universe out there where Tony Stark has a son mm -hmm. and possibly where he didn't have to snap right. and kill Thanos. Because what, we, what, what was really interesting, and this I think like a lot of people are overlooking, is what we got from Multiverse of Madness mm -hmm. is that it confirms that Iron Man didn't have to die. Yeah. 
because right we we learned in in Endgame that there was 14 million things right 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 options and there was only one where they win yeah but if you look at the Illuminati mm-hmm. they defeated Thanos on Titan yeah without Tony Stark mm-hmm. so it is possible where they could do this whole thing and defeat Thanos without having Tony Stark sacrifice himself yeah. So that's what Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness showed us. So what this confirms is that there's chances that Tony Stark is still out there in a universe where he didn't have to die. Mm-hmm. Because we're led to believe that there was only one way, and that yeah. is killing Tony Stark. When in actuality, that is wrong. That's completely wrong. Tony Stark could still be out there. He could still be out there. I mean, when you think about it, like, logically, right? If Wanda sees herself in another universe, Doctor Strange sees himself in another universe, and Tony sees himself in a dream that feels so real, just like how Doctor Strange had his dream and Wanda had her dream. It makes sense that he saw himself in another universe. Right. I mean, I totally agree with you. It seems like it's inevitable. And for the, for the creators at Marvel to even put that in, there's yeah. a plan for it. Everything's connected. It all is going to make sense. Right. Tony Stark's coming back. Secret Wars are around the corner. The Russo brothers want to do it. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Secret Wars is going to be insane. And we got to talk about this. Okay. The, the writer of Multiverse of Madness uh-huh. confirmed that once he heard all the theories about, you know, Iron Man, Superior Iron Man being Tom Cruise, uh-huh. he actually went to Kevin Feige and told Kevin Feige, hey, is this possible? Like, when they're starting to shoot the movie, like, hey, really? can we have a Superior Iron Man come in to get Tom Cruise? And Kevin Stop. Feige thought, like, we can, but... We would run into issues with scheduling because Tom Cruise was filming Mission Impossible. No! Just the fact that the, the writer of the movie confirmed that he heard theories about Iron Superior Iron Man being Tom Cruise, and he's like, I like that. Let's try to do it. Oh, my. Dude. Dude, it could have happened. That was one of my biggest, like, oh, like, that's the only cameo I really wanted. I know. But the fact that they were going to do it is a win. Yeah. We know it could happen. It could happen. Superior Iron Man may be coming. You never know. The multiverse is open. Okay, so moving on from that, welcome back to Dumb Ways to Die, where I talk about the weirdest and craziest ways people have died. Be prepared to be amazed on how stupid people are. I want to start this off with a quick fact. Okay? Oh, okay. Just a quick fact. All right. So, if you didn't know this, 450 people each year, okay, okay. lose their life falling out of bed what yeah the bed's like what two feet off the ground yep what and 450 people lose their lives from falling off the bed is each it, year but is it from like stroke or heart attack or is it just from the impact of the ground it might just be from like blunt force oh my gosh yeah we're starting off with a husband and wife okay they decided they wanted to have like a fun night go crazy just to have a wild night like when they were teenagers let loose let it go let loose let go okay so they're <laughs> They're driving their car, right? They're like, hey, I think it'd be super fun if we just drive our car and start throwing dynamites out the window. Just, let's just get wow. crazy. Wow, what, yeah. what a thought. Right? Who even has dynamite in the car? That's what I thought, okay? <laughs> so they're just driving around, speeding, right? They're like, oh, let's, let's, let's get the first one out there, okay? Yeah. Light it up. Throw it. Hey, <laughs> forgot to roll down the window. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> they threw it inside their car. They threw it inside the car. Oh, wow. Blew up the car. The husband died. The wife made it out. Who threw it? I think the husband did. Okay. Sadly, he got what he deserved. I mean, he, he could have killed other people by that, doing that. Right. Dynamite's crazy. Okay, dynamite was used to literally blow up mountains to get gold. And they're throwing it out of the car. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. So starting with the next one, okay? So this guy decided to feed a family of peacocks nice okay there's four peacocks now the peacocks were really hungry right they're wild animals they need food yeah so they started to get a little aggressive okay now one of the peacocks got so aggressive it scratched him on the head now it's a little scratch you wouldn't think much of it right but then he started to feel very very like wobbly he wasn't able to keep keep standing up he was about to faint Okay, yeah. so then he was rushed to the hospital and went into a coma from this scratch. Oh, my gosh. And didn't make it out of the coma. So the peacock literally murdered this man. Dude, I always, like, thought the peacocks were, like, one of the most beautiful animals. Yeah. 
but they're also let me tell you disgusting. Some of, the, some of the cutest animals out there are the most vicious animals. I believe it. Squirrels, rabies. Yeah. Well, they're wild. Right, and people think they could just walk up to them and they'll be nice, but that's not the case. Okay, so moving on to the last one. There, it started off with this guy, right? And he was with his friends. Now, they okay. came across a telephone pole with kind of like a dangling wire, okay? Now, this guy told his friends, I can manipulate electricity, and I can show you that I can manipulate electricity. So what, is he trying to say like he has like superpowers or something? Yeah. So what this guy did was he decided to prove to his friends that he could manipulate electricity, okay? okay? So he decides to grab the dangling wire. I don't get what he's hoping. Like, what are you proving? He's trying to prove that he pretty much has superpowers. What I don't understand, though, is he, is he trying to say, like, he can, he can, like, hold electricity and not get electrocuted? Or is he trying to say that by holding this wire, I can direct the electricity to go in certain directions? Well, like static way, shock, you know? I mean, either way, it sounds pretty dumb. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to justify his action. There's no way justifying that. Okay, you're so right. he grabbed it, shocked all over his body, third degree burns everywhere, rushed to the hospital, didn't make it out. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But thank you for watching Dumb Ways to Die. Guys, if you made it this far on the podcast, thank you so much for watching. Also, remember, hit the like button because we are going to be giving away one of these to one of you. And also, comment what you want us to talk about next, and we'll talk about it on next week's podcast. That's correct. Also, so uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow on tiktok i'm gonna change it up a little bit tomorrow on tiktok next tuesday on youtube for the three minute theory and next friday on spotify apple podcast and youtube we'll see you on the tiki talk god bless you guys see ya love ya